My name is Lumpy, and I just did a speed run to 1 million subs. To help me get there, every 20k subs, I opened a lump crate. Inside each lump crate was a weird animation and a piece of loot. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's watch them all. This is the garbage crate. I hate Monday. What could be inside? It's a wavy garb. His bones are condensing. You get garb ring! I have a treat for you. Uh, this box here is from the future. Uh, there, there was like a weird bird that was carrying it and it had a health bar, so I threw my lump of rag at it and, you know. Anyway, uh, so this box contains the hottest emoji of 2026. Pretty neat, huh? So it, I mean, it doesn't have a name right now, so uh, we can name it. What should we call it? So yeah, I mean, here, uh, I will turn it into an item, and I will put it in your inventory, so you can hold on to it. There you go. This is the cookie print. Mm, it smells delicious. What could be inside? The milk is boiling. <laughs> I think it likes you. <laughs> you get sweet tooth. I don't want to block it. Yeah, but we're not. Step one. Step two. Step four. Step four.
man. This is the one. This is the one. Come on. Come on. Yes. Sardine can. Oh. What? Sardine. Another sardine can? Get out. What? What are the odds? Oh my god. It's Cod Chan? What? So stupid. Oh my. Another sardine can? Oh my god. Oh! 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 That infernal racket! Hmm, what might this be? A precious parcel has arrived. Who? My friend. From Sonic! Hmm, perhaps that heinous hog isn't so bad after all. Dr. Robotnik opens the box. <gasps> A Chaos Emerald! Oh, Sonic! You shouldn't have. <laughs> Time to claim my prize. Careful. Oh, my famously burnt out fingers! You're not a meat present! You're a hedgehog surprise! <laughs> well, the joke's on you! I got my hand free! Thanks for the snack! <laughs> That's it! Oh. <laughs> Yet to be born. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Oh, I'm a blue Joe. I'm your brother. What? Oh, I'm Mario. I'm Luigi, and I'm your brother. Hello. Yes, I'm your brother. Yeah, yeah, I'm your brother. I'm your brother too. Yeah. I'm oh, your brother. Yes. I'm your brother. 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 Oh my god. Could my birthday get any worse? I bought the Crab Pass Plus. <laughs> Let's see what we get. Mm. Oh. Mm, crab Sam. Got this garbage pole, but she's kind of cute, though. Hey, right. I'm too bad on her. Oh, man. Let's go. <laughs> oh, this oh this color blows. Yeah, this one sucks. This is the worst one for sure. Oh, man. What? Wait, are spiders crabs? Really? I didn't know that. <laughs> Damn. She's kind of bad. I, I like her energy. Whoa! Did I just pump King Crab Channel on my first crab crate? <laughs> Whoa! I got the butter bonus! There's no way! You gotta be crazy! Wait! Wait, why is she looking at her like that?
It's a Lump Crate Loot Tier List. First up is the Garf Ring, which I want to put an A because one of its abilities is it lets you fall asleep in a sunbeam whenever you want, which is amazing. But uh, look at the design of it. I mean, wearing this on a finger or something else, it looks like it would hurt a lot. So because of that, I'm going to put it into C tier. Up next is the Future Emoji, which lets you see randomized text messages from the future. Um, it's mostly just going to be spam and kind of useless and maybe even annoying. So I'm not into it. I'm putting it into D tier. Next is the Sweet Tooth. Uh, the more cavities you have, the stronger you become. I'm really just not into toothaches at all. So to me, this is like the bottom of D tier. I don't want this at all. Thanks. Uh, next is the Roach Ruby, which makes cockroaches respect you 5,000% more. Once again, absolute garbage item, like pretty much one of the worst because I don't want to have anything to do with cockroaches. Sorry. And what does this mean? Do they like respect me so much? Maybe they make like a roach pilgrimage to me to worship me as their God. Nah, I'm good. Thanks. Okay, up next is Applesauce 2, which is really interesting. You can make anything out of the applesauce that comes out of this, and it'll stay that way for an hour before it reverts. And it really feels like the limit is just your own creativity. Like, you can do a lot of really cool things with this one. So because it's such a high skill cap item, I think it's high tier. I'm putting it into A. Next is the Hyper Hopper Honker, which once per day gives you a stretchy tongue so you can lick flies, which then turn into precious jewels. I mean, that sounds pretty good to me. The only downside is if a clown hears the honk, they go crazy and start chasing you. I'm pretty sure I can avoid all the local clowns in my area. So I'm going to put this into A and get a bunch of gems. That sounds great. Its psychotic cousin is the hyper humor honker. Now, if you honk this one around someone and they start laughing, you can sort of control their actions and even kill them. Uh, and yeah, that's like pure psycho clown energy, which I don't really plan to use in my daily life. So to me, this is basically just like C tier. Like it's not going to actively injure me or be annoying, but I can't see myself using it. Next is Liminal Loop. Um, and as far as I can tell, this item will absolutely kill me. So this piece of junk is going to the bottom of F. Up next is Hammerhead Chan, who gives you some really unique superpowers if you have a good relationship with her. I mean, what this boils down to, though, is that your superpowers are dependent upon a very chaotic sitcom-like situation. <laughs> so I'll put her at the top of C tier. Uh, next is the Chaos Emerald, which powers up electronics around you and gives you super speed if you hold on to it for a while. Only small downside is that Movie Sonic will pursue you and torment you relentlessly while you have this item. So yeah, that sounds like a living nightmare. And as far as we know, he maybe can't even be killed. So there's just no way to get rid of him. So because I'd have trouble sleeping at night if I had this thing, I'm just going to put it into F tier. Ooh, up next is Chill Out Session. When I hear my designated song, I enter the vibe realm, which is like a little pocket dimension. And while I'm in there, I can do whatever. I, I don't age. So, you know, maybe I have some videos I could be working on. <laughs> so yeah, very creative loot with a lot of uses and definitely top of A tier for me. Up next are the two Belujo items. One gives us a permanent luck upgrade, while the other gives us clothes that make us invisible, but we have to kill Belujo to get it. I feel like both of these pieces of loot are pretty mid. But because Belujo is so perfect and wholesome and amazing, uh, I'm putting these items into B tier. B for Belujo. Up next is the easiest S tier of my life. Uh, it's Summon Godfield, which basically just gives you a wish. The only downside is that Godfield will judge you. So, you know, try not to wish for too many slime girls. But yeah, let's uh, put that right here where it belongs. And finally, we have Butterchan. If you're close friends with Butterchan, you get a bunch of really cool powers. But because it's another chaotic sitcom situation, I'm just putting her into C tier. C for sitcom. And that's my Lump Crate Loot tier list. I'll have a link to this template in the description below the video if you want to give it a shot. Maybe your tier list will look super different from mine. That's right. The next goal is going to be 2 million. So here's the plan. I want to do something similar to the lump crates. We'll unlock a new short video, this time part of a series, every 50k subs towards that 2 million goal. And it might be some sort of choose your own adventure type thing. And then in the community tab, everyone votes, and then that will change what happens in the next part. Does that sound like a fun idea to you? Let me know. 
Kind of crazy to think that some of my best and most popular videos of all time I made in the past three months. Like, does everyone watching know that I'm now like a gaming secret expert? Have you all seen the Lump Dump series? I feel like some people just don't watch shorts at all. So all I can say is, take a look at my shorts. I put so much work into them. They're not low effort. Uh, so that also means for the love of God, hit the bell so you can actually get updates when I'm putting out all these high effort videos. I'm not joking. Turn on the bell! Ding! Now! And thank you so much for 1 million subs. I am super grateful to all of you that watch and support me, to the Patreon pals. Thank you all from the bottom of my lumps.